now following his second touchdown catch of the season, tight end Josh Stafford. You'll fire away the questions whenever you're ready. Yeah, sure. You've, David Hood with TigerNet.com. You've obviously put in a lot of time here. Do you feel like you're ready now that Sage is out to kind of step into this role here in the last part of the season? Uh, yeah, most definitely, man. I mean, they've been helping prepare me, coaches, and as well as Sage and Jake just preparing me this whole season. So, I mean, I know I'm ready. Just, just you know, watching them, uh, learning from them, just ins and outs of games, you know, they really helped me along the way. So, yeah, I'm ready. Um, the main thing Sage brought was really just being physical, man. Just bring, coming in on those blocks, man, putting people in the dirt. So I know I had to step up and, you know, place those footsteps and bring the same phys physicality and just putting people in the dirt, man. So. Uh, yeah, definitely plenty of time. Just us working out in high school, but he just brought it to the game now. So it was just amazing seeing him reach out, stretch, make that crazy catch, man. So it was good seeing that for sure. Uh, I want to say drill. I'll probably say just practice, just it happening. So, I mean, after you make a lot of those catches, it's just natural. So <laughs> good for him, man. Uh, yeah, I saw him as soon as I got up off the ground. He took off coming after me, but same thing for him. As soon as he scored, I took off after him, man. Here's a question for Josh personally. Anybody else in the room? He's your dad was a, a quarterback and a linebacker. Did, did you want to play you <coughs> the life growing up? How did you wind up at tight end? Uh, really, man, I played everything growing up, just high school. I played, started out playing quarterback, and then I played a little bit of defense, DN, linebacker, and then I ended up just moving to wide receiver, and then they started putting me at that tight end, kind of ace-back position in high school, so I mean, just came to me, man, and I took it serious, worked at it, uh, the blocking part, route running part, and took advantage of it. Man. Often said, your dad had one of the best arms I've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah, he still he still can sling it now. I ain't gonna lie, he still can sling it. Did you grow up catching pass? I mean, did he play a lot with you in the backyard? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, yes, sir. A lot of like training it would just be me and him or uh, Coach Lamb, my offensive line coach. Just I run routes and stuff with him, so catching him, catching from him helped a lot, man. And then uh, learning the blocking part with Coach Lamb that helped, and just put it all together, man. Helped me become a good tight end. Um, really just gaining confidence um, as a whole, you know, uh, just catching the ball, throwing the ball, running the ball. We've really been getting our run game going, and that's helped out a lot. So really just confidence for us. Uh, def I'd probably say freshman year, last year, man, it was a, it was a, it was a challenge at first, just transferring from high school to the college level, because of course everybody's big and strong. So I adjusted though, and you know, getting better and better as weeks went on. Just again, learning from Sage and those guys and coaches coaching me up. And so I've been getting better and better with that blocking part going on. Yeah, really just, I mean, learning how to keep your feet running, putting your hands in the right spots, hat in the right place, man. Just really those details of blocking. So that's the difference from high school and I'll say this level now. Any other questions for Josh? What did you learn about Cade this year? Through, through, through all the ups and downs? Um, man, Cade, just really, he's a great leader, man. Through, all the bad and all the good, man. He's been staying the same, leading us, keeping our heads up, keeping his head up as well. So, I mean, just he's just a great leader, man. Josh, the physicality of blocking at tight end, because <coughs> offensive linemen, they're stationed and then they're coming off the ball. Mm -hmm. A lot of times tight end is in movement. And then going into, I mean, it's a collision. Yeah. It's not just a block. It's a, it's a collision. How would you describe the physicality? Um, 
best way I can say, man, you just got to bring it, man, because, again, those defensive guys, they trying to hit you as well, so you have to bring it to them. That's, that's what Coach Rich always tells us in that tight end room. So be the most physical, knowledgeable man out there on the field. And that's those main things. You just have to stay physical, have to bring it to those guys as well. And Coach, we have <coughs> some Pat Henry and other guys. Kind of, the life is rising a little bit. What, what have you seen from him? What, what um, man, he's just a worker, man. That whole tight end room, we just work, man. So we lift each other up, help each other out the best way we can. But... He, he's he's definitely a grinder, man. So he works, stays, and watching film, all that stuff, man. He's a good player. Hey, buddy. Hey, Coach. Uh, you know, Thank you, Josh. Appreciate your time, man. Thank you.